Stacey, welcome back to your Carolina. I'm excited because I have one of my favorite actresses growing up of all times. Miss Alyssa Milano is standing by with Aww. her new chef and friend, Chef Diane. Alyssa, great to see you. And we were all bragging about your hair. We just love it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you like it. Thank you, Megan. Well, I know you are super busy. You're now a mom of two. So how in the world can you still lead a healthy lifestyle while trying to chase around two kids and then all your real job work? Right? It's hard. Right? <laughs> it's hard. And I think it's something, yeah, it's hard. And I think it's something that every parent can relate to. And every day brings something new and a balancing act and trying to figure that all out. Um, but through... Diane and partnering with Atkins, it's really helped me to live a healthier lifestyle. That, by the way, uh, gives me more energy to do everything in my life. It's not just about you know losing weight. Um, it's about feeling energetic and having energy and being healthier. Well, that's awesome. What? Give us a little clue here. What did you do? Was there something that you cut out or something that you added? Oh yeah, cut out, cut out sugar. And uh, carbs like you know pasta and rice, um, and really, really try to focus on the things that are healthy for you. Can like, I take it from there? Well, sure. Like <laughs> a wide variety of vegetables. I mean, Alyssa's diet, and um, anybody that's living a low carb lifestyle can can eat vegetables and fiber rich carbohydrates, optimal proteins like chicken and fish, and healthy fats like olive oil and avocados and nuts and seeds and there's you know it's really um the way you should be eating anyway so it's working and it's obviously working for Alyssa. she looks amazing thank you yeah no thank kidding you. Totally fantastic <laughs> especially after two kids <laughs> i know it's not it's oh, not yeah. easy and it is you know adjusting to that lifestyle and chef diane what are some tricks too because if you look like i mean we know if we're trying to give up sugar don't eat candy or coke but sugar is in almost everything Everything, I know, I know. It's really hard, especially when you go out. Yes. And if you're looking, you know, if, you, if you're eating anything that's out of a package, just make sure you take a look at the sugars and how much sugar is actually in it. But you What's know, a good, like, guideline as far as what the carbohydrates should read on a package? Well, you really want the sugars to be at minimal to almost zero, you know, and, you know, I would say four to six grams of carbohydrates. So I think, um, I think it's really important to just be aware and, and, and eat healthy things. Like I have options here for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and sweets that Alyssa loves, like this Mexican breakfast portobello, um, mushroom stuffed mushroom with egg, uh, chicken and walnut and apple salad stuffed in a lettuce leaf. And then for dinner, we have these uh, vegetable noodles that are one of Alyssa's favorites. Mm -hmm. We got a little flyaway guy. Yes, and you, it's, it's all spiralized and twisted zucchini and yellow squash with a sauce. And if you make your own, it's great. But if you want to, if you buy a jarred sauce, just make sure you look for the sugar and get the least amount, if no sugar, in it. Some turkey meatballs, a little uh, parsley, and a little Parmesan cheese. Look at that. I mean, you can't go wrong with that type Delicious. of dinner. And then for sweets, we have the luscious lemon squares that Alyssa loves. Yes, well, I have a and, sweet too. <laughs> and the grab and go harvest trail bars, which are wonderful to have with you, you know, because you don't want to go too long without having something to eat. And all these recipes you can find on Atkins.com. I love it. And that looks like real food. Now, Alyssa, what about like the kids? Because you know, they love to snack. I know you've got well, young ones. I love it. <laughs> yes. And here's the thing here's the thing it's, it's, it's unrealistic to think that the kids are going to want a portobello, you know, thing. <laughs> so what, what I love about what Diane creates is they're all easily modified for children. So for instance, these the zucchini needles, if your kid wants pasta, they could have the pasta while you and your husband have the zucchini uh, noodles. So it's, everything can be modified, you know, um, like a macaroni and cheese dish that you would serve your, your children, you can do with cauliflower yeah. and cheese. Um, and so, the, like the pizza that I made for you with the cauliflower crust. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> you need to make that for me again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my kids like that. So, yes. so there are a lot of things that the kids will like as well. But if they don't, there are ways to modify food for them so that you're not eating the stuff that they're eating, but they're still, you know, getting what they like. I love it. Thank you all for letting us step into your world for a little while and get some of your tricks. And if you're ever in South Carolina, Chef Diane, that cauliflower pizza, feel free to bring it over here. That sounds good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs>
It's so good. Amazing. Thank you, Megan. All right. Well, y'all can y'all can catch Alyssa, of course, on the fifth season of Project Runway All Stars. Busy lady. We're happy to have her, and we'll be right back with more Your Carolina. Thank you.